I'm dating expert Hayley Quinn and I'm here with some really interesting statistics which show, at least in the world of online dating, why nice guys don't always finish last. Now, these statistics are taken from over 1 million user profiles kindly provided by the online dating site and app Zoosk. So the information I'm telling you isn't just some made up YouTube statistics, these are actual facts in terms of how people are behaving in the realm of online dating. So I have three interesting ones which show how traditional nice guy behaviors work really well when it comes to online dating. So fact number one is in terms of response rate. So that whole treat to mean, keep them keen, that thing doesn't actually translate, especially not in 2018, oh, that was a rhyme. Uh, what I mean by that is, actually taking time to respond to someone's messages now in our world of instant communication whether that's facebook messenger whatsapp or an online dating site is often read that you just either you just don't care and shows a low level of investment which women respond to negatively understandably or it also fails to capture the moment so for instance a woman might just be casually using their online dating site, she might just open the app for one day and be in the frame of mind where she wants to meet someone. If you take a couple of days to respond to her, then the enthusiasm level drops and actually you stand a much worse chance of getting a response. The statistics say that if you manage to respond to a woman on the day that she messages you, you get a 62% increased chance of response versus just 45% if you take an extra day to respond to her. This nice guy thing is also played out in the, the words in the user's profile that women seem to respond better to. So guys who have the phrase, knight in shining armor, get 67% more messages than guys that don't, as well as guys who have the word thoughtful in their profile at 66%. So why do I think that these traditionally Sh chivalrous, like I was gonna say chivalric, chivalrous nice guy words and phrases put into your profile do so well. I think that part of that is there has been in some dating sites and apps a kind of a negative attachment to them thinking that maybe they drive more casual or short-term relationships and there's nothing wrong with that by the way if that's what you want. However, I think for women who are particularly looking for something more meaningful, they will be attracted to guys who showcase themselves online as representing that kind of person. So this really goes back to looking at your online dating profile and brand and thinking about what values it represents. This could be the clothes that you're wearing in your pictures. It could be whether you know, you're in this kind of cool urban backdrop or whether you've got um, you know, a really nice stately home in the background. Of course, I say this because I'm English. It could be whether you're out doing an outdoorsy act Activity or you're out partying, all of these things communicate slightly different values about your lifestyle and rightly or wrongly people will come to judgments and conclusions about your suitability and compatibility for them based on how you present yourself online. So right now you might just be kind of thinking oh, I'll just put you know my most recent five Instagram pictures up as my online dating profile or you might be choosing your photos in a way that's quite arbitrary or because they hold nice memories for you or because you, they show a, a place that you visited that you really enjoyed. Instead, try to look at your photo set and also the words in your profile as a whole image and what values that represents because stats like these clearly show that for the guys out there who do want more of a meaningful relationship or who, like, or who just like to show up for women in a way that is more caring, uh, that is that knight in shining armor that is thoughtful, that is attentive, that obviously there is women out there who are really responding well to those qualities and there is a need for that in the online dating space. So I think at least when it comes to the realm of online dating, the bad boy thing doesn't quite play out. So fun fact about why nice guys don't finish last in online dating number three is that for women aged 30 to 50, the word, this, I'm sure this probably doesn't surprise you, honest is the one that, that they use to describe the most the kind of ideal guy that they get now understandably i think that once anybody has had a succession of dating experiences they might be thinking oh maybe my judgment wasn't fantastic in the past and online dating is fantastic for increasing the randomization of how you meet people it introduces you to people you literally would have never met ever before However, one of the kind of negatives of that is that it can take longer to establish trust than if you've met somebody via a social circle or a shared hobby and interest. 
So therefore, if you are an honest person, which I really hope you are, <laughs> or people that are honest or who promote themselves in that way or show, show that value in how they communicate, are going to be selected more often and looked upon more favorably. Now, honesty could be a word that you put in your profile, but it could also be, I think what's really important is an integrity in between your actions and what you say. So that could be, you know, if you say that you're going to message her or give her a call on Friday night, keep, do it. <laughs> and if you can't, for whatever reason, give her enough notice way in advance. This kind, this kind of thing where you say something and you successfully complete the action builds a chain which helps to create trust and demonstrates your honesty as a person. This could also be um, the thing if you promise to you know, go on a date or you say that you're going to be free, keeping that commitment, particularly again in 2018 where a big problem people are facing with online dating is that they find just people are flaking a lot or cancelling or not ever quite making that date in real life. If you could be the person that bucks the trend and actually shows up to be consistent, to be honest, to be able to do what you say you're gonna do, this is gonna be looked on extremely well. And of course, those behaviors, you're gonna mean that you're gonna get more matches and also hopefully matching with people that also have that self-esteem and those boundaries and the respect to be looking out to date people who show them respect, honesty, attentiveness, and yes, a true investment and willingness to date right from the get-go. So I hope you can see from watching this video that some of the traditional nice guys behaviors, whether that's uh, being consistent, being honest, uh, respond, being responsive, um, being attentive, being thoughtful, all of these characteristics are not negative and unsexy. In fact, they're really desirable and actually what lots of people will be looking out for in terms in, when, in the online dating process. So when you're thinking about what you bring to online dating, if you do identify as being that person who does have those qualities, don't think you have to go through some kind of personality transformation to become like a bad boy because that's what women want. In fact, people who are really invested in the dating process, really looking to meet in real life, um, who have a good healthy sense of self-esteem and personal respect and boundaries, they will be actively looking to connect with people who obviously communicate clearly, who are consistent in their behavior and who show them R-E-S-P-E-C-T, respect. <laughs> so I hope that helps you and I hope you found these actual facts and stats that I said are from over 1 million user profiles. So it's not a made up statistic, it's a legit statistic. So if you wanna know more about how to be effective at dating, but also ethical and walk that line between being a guy who is respectful to women, morally conscious, but also is the, woman, the man that women find desirable and attractive and they actually wanna date, check out the link below my video. I've got some great more free videos and advice for you there at hayleyquinn.com forward slash approach. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. Hit subscribe and comment if you like it, you agree, you disagree, and I'll be back again soon with another video.